Hello my internet friends and welcome to another video. Today my perfume rack is looking a little bit sparse because I've taken out my top 10 longest lasting perfumes. I've put them to the side. I'm going to share them with you. So if that sounds like something that's of interest to you, then stay tuned for my top 10 most longest lasting perfumes. So my first one is Tom Ford Noir Parfum. This is a very nice fragrance, very sexy, very delicious. Um, apparently it is made to smell like or it's made of coffee, which is an a very yummy indian dessert and this just is very it smells very yummy i describe this as a sexy fragrance like as in you have no problems um no matter what situation you are in you have to be sexy like the in jurassic world the girl who was who acted the whole movie in her heels this is what that fragrance reminds me of like someone who's stranded in a desert and it has still keeps her heels on to look for water this is that fragrance but no matter what situation is the situation is you still have the need to look good you keep that item on that people think sh should be an inconvenience but for you looking sexy is important so you keep that inconvenience on that's what this fragrance reminds me of just a very all-around sexy regardless of the situation sexy fragrance and it's number 10 interestingly number nine is hypnotic poison eau de toilette and now for an eau de toilette this is very impressive but i find and almost talk in all these situations i'm talking about skin i always spray my skin, never my clothes. The Tom Ford Noir Parfum will last you about five to six hours. I find this will give you a good six hours. Six hours of wear for an eau de toilette is very impressive. It's a vanilla almond fragrance, just so yummy, so delicious. Just, um, just a really done um, designer fragrance. And for it to be an eau de toilette and have that power projection, staying power, that's very impressive. So, um. Dior Hypnotic Poison or the Toilet number nine. Number eight is uh, Mugla Alien. Now I wonder what the original, I wonder what the original is like because everybody says this is nothing like the, this is not as be smooth as the original and for me this is still pretty good. So I'm just really curious as to what the original would be like, what the power would be like because for me this lasts a good six to seven hours on my body um it's 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 a beautiful lavender fragrance um it's a very strong lavender so if that is not your speed just stay away from this fragrance but it's a very bold brave confident fragrance um for and i love this and it's number eight. number seven is dual addict the fragrance whose name describes describes him better than none other because i'm an addict and dual is my favorite brand but it is number seven because it lasts a good well it lasts a good seven to eight hours this lasts really well and all of these fragrances you don't need to over spray you can choose to if you're like me and you're an over sprayer i do over spray this i mean i over spray most of my fragrances so this a good Four sprays will do you well. Ten sprays will be on you forever. This is a beautiful um, vanilla fragrance. Absolutely delicious. Sexy day tonight. Elegant perfume. If you have that um, um, black dress affair, little black dress, you know, an elegant evening. This is a perfume that will go really well with it. So Dior Addict number seven. Number six is this very beautiful, unique fragrance. Number six, uh, Labo Tenua 29. Extremely, extremely unique. Nothing like it in my collection. It's a fig fragrance. Open up, opens up with the fig notes, very sharp, but also fresh and spicy. Um, dries down into a very beautiful fragrance like none other. The staying power is really good. This will also give you another seven to eight hours, but I feel like you can spray less of this. That's why I put this at number six because I, I, I don't know that I've ever done more than four to six sprays of this. And this will still last me seven to eight hours. This lasts really well on my skin. So ten one twenty nine by Lilabo on number six. Number five is from Francis, and this is his Oud Sun Mood. And this is one of those ones that you probably, I probably, I don't do well. I shouldn't say you probably, but I don't do more than four to six fragrances. Like six is pushing it. Six is when I know I'm going to be out all day, like 12 plus hours. Otherwise, I'm doing four sprays, three to four sprays. This is a very powerful fragrance. It will stay on you all day and it projects. Like this is not a video about projection, but this will project. People will smell you. People will think Olivia Pope has entered a chat. But this is a very confident beast mode Um wash chick fragrance and i absolutely love it and it will stay on you forever so oud san mood and number five number three is perfumes the mali delina um this is another one that will stay on you forever you can if you're an over sprayer i'm an over sprayer and i do maybe i don't do more than six of this and that's me over spraying like when i do six i almost can't breathe but if i know i'm going to be out like i have a long day at school 
I'll do maybe six sprays. So initially, I'll I'll be suffocating, but then I know it will dry down to a very beautiful powdery rose because initially it's very tart and sour in the opening. Um, it lasts very long. All you need is about three sprays. But like I said, if you think you're going to be out all day, 12 plus hours, you can do about six sprays and this will last. It will last a good eight plus hours on the skin easily with only three sprays. So if you want it to last eight, 10, 12 hours, then I'll do, you know, four, five, six sprays. But this lasts a really long time. And people can smell you. That I have other perfumes that last very well on me, like Fair Delicious. I can smell it all day, but no one smells it. At this, people will smell. And then number three... Rounding up my top three, number three is Oud Bouquet by Lancome. And this is like, everybody who knows, knows this is Beast Mode. So if this is number three, imagine what the top two are. I, I, I'm wondering if you can guess what the top two are. If you can guess the top two, leave it down in the comment section before I get to the top two. But this is a beautiful Oud Gourmand fragrance. It will, it's Beast Mode. This is one I can't do more than three. Even if I have a long day, I don't do more than three because... The begin is so strong, and even though it dries down to a beautiful powdery fragrance, I just can't manage the beginning because it's so strong and powerful and it projects so well. I don't do more than three. If I do more than three, I begin to sneeze, and I love this bottle and the color of the juice on the inside. Projection, staying power, everything. Oud bouquet. You you can't go wrong with oud bouquet. So highly recommended. Number two, also from France, staying power. Crazy, incredible, amazing staying power. So. This will last you a good 8 to 10 hours on the skin again with about 3 sprays. Now with me, with this fragrance, I tend to spray a little bit a little bit more than I need because like I said, I go and I was mixed to it and there are times in the day where I cannot smell it. So I tend to do about 4 or 5 sprays and when I tell you the projection of this fragrance, we were in clinic one time and my friend said she walked into the clinic and she knew I was in there and then she realized I was standing very far away. But she knew I was in there because she could smell this and she knew it was me. Um, this will last you a good... I sprayed it on me and of course I wore my coat and my coat began to smell like it. And until I, I washed it, it was like I was wearing this every day. On the on your clothes, you can't get rid of it. You'd have to wash it. But on the body, 10 plus hours with minimal spraying. So from Francis, we have Baccarat Rouge 540 in the number two spot for staying power. And then... The number one spot is Montal Anton's Cafe. Now this, even on the skin, like for most of the ones I showed you in my top 10, on the clothes, you can't get them out. But this, unless you wash, you can't get it out un unless you wash. But this on your skin, if you go two days without taking a shower, you still smell this on you. This is so powerful. Like if you take a, like, a lacadaisical shower, this will not wash off. You have to take an intentional shower to get this off of you. Like you have to scrub this off your body. Um, this is an intense beast mode fragrance that will stay on you for hours, 12 plus hours with two to three sprays. This is another one of the ones that I cannot over spray because number one, it has a very artificial opening note. And number two, it has a very strong coffee note, which I do not prefer. But it dries down to a very beautiful powdery musky rose fragrance, which I love. But because that Opening is so difficult for me. I tend not to spray this. Three, four sprays, and this is on me 12 plus hours. Like, you cannot skip a shower. <laughs> you cannot skip a shower like this. And with the you cannot skip a shower with this and use a different fragrance the next day. Because this will just mess it up. Well, unless it's a good combination. But this, my point is, this will stay on you. It's not going anywhere until you scrub it. So that rounds out my top 10 um, fragrances with um the best day in power i hope you enjoyed this video this is me blowing you a kiss i hope i see you in my next video i hope you stay safe and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye